Public Champions Cooking School. I'm Chef Willie. And I'm Chef Kara, and we're here celebrating Hanover Tomato Month. Join us here every Thursday in July as we prepare recipes featuring Hanover tomatoes. And you can find these recipes and more in the Hanover Tomato Recipe Booklet at your local public. It's Tomato Thursday. Welcome to Publix Aprons Cooking School. I'm Chef Willie. I'll be featuring a recipe from Hanover Tomatoes. It is white fish with chorizo and tomato sauce. So you're gonna heat up your pan and we are going to start cooking the chorizo. We have chorizo, shallots, capers, and olive oil to start off the recipe. We will be featuring flounder for your white fish today. Just want to make sure you get your pan nice and hot. Add your olive oil. And then you're going to add the shallots, chorizo, and capers. Chorizo. This is a cured chorizo, not the regular that you would get in sausage form, but this is like a dried sopressata kind. Uh, it helps hold together and it's not as greasy as the regular chorizo that you would get. So that is what you're gonna want. Make sure that it stays together in the pan for you. All right. And we're gonna saute that for about three, three minutes. And while we're waiting on that to saute, we're gonna dice a tomato, nice beautiful Hanover tomato. All right, so you don't have to make it uniform, but you do wanna chop it down to make it nice and small. And you are keeping the seeds and all of the juice that's in there because that's gonna make your tomato sauce, all right? So you just have to chop into it. All right. Save that. All right, let me see. Got that cooking up right there beautifully. So once you get this sauteed for about three to four minutes, you are going to add the diced tomato, beautiful Hanover tomatoes. All right, put a little bit of that one and then And add those tomatoes. And what you're looking for when you're cooking these tomatoes down is to get all the juices out. And then what you're gonna do is nestle the fish right on top as much as you can. So you're gonna cook it out till all those juices come out. And you've got Italian seasoning and crushed red peppers to add to it. That is your Italian seasoning, all that. And then once you add the fish to the pan, you're gonna add a quarter cup to a half a cup of white wine. Uh, the best white wine to use for it is one that has a little acidity to it. You don't wanna use a Chardonnay. Chardonnay is oaky and it will take over all the flavor of the tomato and you don't want that. You want to keep that sweetness of that tomato and the spiciness of the chorizo. So you want to make sure you're not using something that's oaked. Now you can cut the fish down to smaller manageable pieces, about like that. And like I said, this is a fresh flounder that you can get from our seafood department. We do have about 80 different varieties of fish that you can get from the seafood department. If we do not have it, you can special order it. So you don't, if you don't see it, you can get it, no problem. All right. And we do also have frozen green wise fish that we do have as well. But you know, if you're into the fresh fish and you really want it, you can have them order it for you. 
All right, so once you've got liquid starting to form in there, you're gonna give it one last toss and you've got that liquid moving around, making that tomato sauce. You're gonna take your fish and you're gonna stick it right on top. Try and nestle it in there. All right. Get it all in there. You don't wanna waste any of that delicious fish. All right. So once you get that fish in there and it's still, you see it's still going away, boiling away, you wanna go ahead and add that wine to the top of it. And then what you're gonna do is let that come to simmer again. And then you're gonna cover it with the lid and then cook it for about five to six minutes until the fish is opaque and flaky. I actually do have some already prepared, so I will pull this over and plate it for you. And you see it's nice and opaque and delicious fish. So this is pretty much after the six minutes. So that's what you're wanting right there. So get that fish, put it on the plate. You can either just dump it over the top or you can spoon it over to make it beautiful. All right. After you get it all plated, you're going to garnish it with some fresh cut oregano. All right. So you don't want to leave the stems on the oregano. You want to just pull the leaves off, pull them all the way off. Just get the stems off to the side. Oops, there's a stem right there, stem right there. All right. So with herbs, you want to chop into it once. You don't want to do it more than once because you're going to leave all the flavor on the board and you don't want to lose any of that flavor from your herbs. So get it as close as you can to chop it really fine. And once you get that chopped nice and fine, you'll be able to sprinkle it over the fish. All right. So I'm going to Take it and sprinkle it over. And there's your beautiful dish. Right. Enjoy. Thanks again for joining us here at Public Saprin's Cooking School for a Tomato Thursday. Wow, Willie, this looks amazing. Why, thank you. Are these hand over tomatoes? Why, yes, they are. So good, you can just eat them, right? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's good. <laughs>